Welcome back to the Green Workbench. So, we I am building a hat tree or coat tree out of barn wood. So, um, if you're familiar with barns and kind of the order of wood, um, usually these edge pieces, the round, rounded, um, they didn't throw anything away. So they're no good as you know normal flat boards. So, in my experience, they were used more for like outbuildings and sheds and fences and stuff where it wasn't so important. So, I've got a bunch of it from an old fence. Um, actually, I think it was fence slash shed. I don't know. By the time I got to it, it was pretty much destroyed. Um, but they're pretty cool pieces. And I am going to sister them together to create... pole of the hat stand. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some square edges and some the same size and start um, finishing the flat edges so that it can be glued, glued together. Okay now I'm just going to rough sand these insides so it's smooth and make a good contact surface for gluing. Okay, this piece is glued and screwed, so I'll put it to the side and I'll start working on the base. So I've got both pieces cut 18 inches for my base, and then I'm going to notch out the base here so that it sets right in, in there flat in an X. It's pretty substantial, but so is the rest of the tree, so we'll get to cutting that notch. Okay, <clears throat> so I measured and cut out this notch. On, I did it on the table saw. If you have a dado blade, that's awesome. You can do a route with the router table. Um, so you can see here, I just cut a lot of slits, and then you take a hammer, knock them out, um, and then you'll have a little, little bit at the bottom that you can run back through the table saw or clean up with a chisel and a sander. So. One thing I noticed is because one piece is round, I measured the thickness of this base from the edge, not from where it's round, so I end up with a little extra here. But that's okay. So I'm going to glue this down and screw it into place and let that dry. So I traced the base on my stand and then used the multi-tool to cut it out. Uh, I'm still going to have to work on getting it nice and flat. Once I have that so it's set in there flat, then I can lag bolt it in from the bottom and build some braces. So I drove two lag bolts into the bottom and that will hold it and then with some bracing I will keep it standing upright. Alright, to add the branches to our coat tree, this is just a, I think it's a one inch dowel. But essentially I just drilled a hole down at an angle. So some are just plain. Some of these I notch so you can hang a hanger on them. Or just hang coats. So I gotta finish sanding and throw some finish on it. And you can put these branches at different levels as well. I got all the dowels put in and glued. You can see they're not in the same spot on each side. 
just kind of random spots, some high, some low. Then I sanded it, but I didn't do a full sand. I just did a sand so that it's enough to clean it up and to take away any kind of slivers or anything, but I wanted to keep the character of the wood, especially this wormwood on this side. And then I sprayed three coats of polyurethane. And then you can see for the base, I didn't end up doing the angled supports. I ended up putting four lag bolts in the bottom. And it seems to be strong enough, so I didn't need them. So anyway, this is something that will look great in a cabin. It was just kind of an experiment to do something with wood that otherwise is not real usable. So you may like it, you may hate it, but hopefully um, it will inspire you when you have an idea or you see some piece of wood to think of a way to use it, repurpose it, reuse, reimagine, and it may just turn out great. This is definitely functional. Um, I understand not everyone is going to like it or it be to their taste, and that's okay. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this video, and please check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and I will see you next time on the Green Workbench.